Hey YouTube fan, Garfi is signing on. Um, I guess this is a quick chit chat on my uh, power room slash man cave. Too much storage. Now I have too much storage, not even that alone. Too much solar panel, but it's all good. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, everything 120 is on 24 sevens between those two inverters to the right, the Ames and the MPP. They're on 24 sevens. The Aura do grid time during the daytime. So now I'm even pushing back way more power to the utility during the daytime because guess what the aims and the mpp inverter are on 24 7 meaning that um day and night wake up in the morning time same thing ac is running on the 120 side the, the, the furnace and the roof in the attic wake up in the morning time check my battery voltage uh, on my packs here and guess what 24.2 24.3 24 volts I charge my uh, my cells to 25 volts um, solar panels that are on those three um, this these controllers right here these two and that one Coming home in the daytime from work and checking my um, float voltage and four hours max between and that they are sleeping. Four hours I'm floating batteries between that, that and that. The max I've seen in flow time is four hours. That means the batteries on the roof sitting, I mean, that means the solar panel on the roof sitting up there not doing anything. <clears throat> because now I have more than enough storage. And like I say, um, now I see myself change my habit. Now what am I spending my money on? Soap. Doing laundry. We got so much power in storage now that find myself even washing a pair of socks in the washing machine for the heck of it, just for fun. A pair of socks. Yeah, pair of socks. That's because of I have more than enough in terms of where storage concern and in the evening time when I come home from work and I check my uh, battery voltage um, sitting at 25 volts come tomorrow morning I wake up 24.2 24.3 volts and again 120 side as for my uh, Ford packs up here They've been over a year since I've been running those. I have no BMS on them. And from a, over a year until now, when I go check my voltage uh, on cells, not all of them, but when I go through pack to pack and check, you know, randomly, I'm sitting anywhere between 4.166 volts on the cells. Same thing here, a little bit over a month on the um, on the um, Nissan Leaf. And um, when I check my voltage, same. 0 0.1, 0 0.2 different between between a, um, a, 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 a pack. Same thing here, when I check my uh, Chevy volts, same thing. So, BMS? No. 
And I've seen so many videos on YouTube with people, you know, with all these BMS, BMS, BMS. And fraud, no matter how cheap or more expensive some of these videos that are using these uh, BMS, everybody seems to have the same out outcome. Um, doesn't matter if they're building an 18650 uh, battery pack or they're running Nissan Leafs or uh, Chevy Volts or Ford or Tesla. Everybody have the same outcome, I noticed. Uh, yeah, when they check all the cell voltage, yeah, this one is like one point of a volt different. One point, is that going to hurt the pack? No. So with all of these BMS that I see people are using and doesn't matter if their BMS is flashing and telling you that one cell is slightly higher than the others. I've never seen anyone dissect any of these packs to take out whatever it is. Everybody same end up with the same conclusion. Or oh, 0.1 of a volt on these cells won't hurt. So, BMS, no, for me, I don't believe in BMS. I honestly don't. BMS for me, in my opinion, is a waste of time, waste of money. Waste of time, waste of money. Waste of time, waste of money. Because like I, like I said, I've seen many videos with people with BMS on their battery, whether they're building an 18650 pack or, or whatever it is. And even when a voltage is slightly higher, are lower i've never seen anyone dissect any of these packs to take them out everybody same end up with the same conclusion oh 0.1 of a volt or 0.2 of a volt won't hurt and so forth and so on and life goes on so my good old trusty meter over there every so often i check myself i have a temperature gun but i also run across you know myself just the same but that's my opinion on bms you know, uh, my Chevy Volt in here, um, it's from last November, I think I installed them. And um, same thing, they're working flawlessly. They're working flawlessly. But that was a um, quick chit chat on my uh, my system here. And I guess the, uh, the joke is on me where um, um, no, I have way too much storage but it's all good and now i have way too much solar panel on the roof but it's all good in fact the solar panel on the roof was quite fine when i was running the lead acid battery here when i had the 16 lead acid battery because it requires so much energy just to charge them during the daytime and i had to shut them down during shut the inverters down during the daytime so i could charge those um lead acid battery so I could get it to use at night. Now, now I don't shut these things in, down anymore. You know, they're working 24 sevens. Um, as for the Nissan Leaf over here, um, I got another deal on, on another um, 24 kilowatt of Nissan Leaf um, pack. Um, too bad I didn't get it for 1500 this time around. I got it for 2000 bucks. You know, it is what it is. It's quite, quite fine. It's not for me anyway. Um, it's for a buddy of mine. I'm, I'm building a system for him at his house. So he's getting that um, 24 kilowatt hour of um, um, Nissan Leaf battery pack. Hopefully I'll get it within a week or two. Anyway, quick chit chat. Garfield signing off.